So it's probably not a coincidence that the IRS has now gotten a lot more funding and a lot more guns. The IRS has its own army. They've already stockpiled 5 million rounds of ammunition and thousands of firearms. Why are they doing that exactly? Why is no one noticing this? Well, Matt Gates of Florida is trying to stop it. Bless him. He joins us next. So when they start treating the IRS as a military agency, you should be very worried. And that's exactly what the U.S. government is doing. In 2018, the Government Accountability Office reported that more than 2,000 IRS enforcement agents have more than 4,000 weapons, guns, that kill people, remember? The IRS is also stockpiling more than 5 million rounds of ammunition. In 2020, the watchdog organization OpenTheBooks.com reported the IRS has spent more than $20 million on guns and ammo between 2006 and 2019. A few lawmakers are trying to stop this. Florida Congressman Matt Gates is one of them. He just introduced the Disarm the IRS Act. It's sponsored by Marjorie Taylor, Paul Gosar, and Jeff Duncan. Matt Gates joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks so much for coming on and for doing this. Why would the IRS need millions of dollars worth of guns and ammo? Well, Joe Biden is raising taxes, disarming Americans. So, of course, they are arming up the IRS like they're preparing to take Fallujah. Like you mentioned, 5 million rounds of ammunition, 4,500 firearms, automatic weapons, and $731,000 of taxpayer money spent this year to quite literally weaponize your government against you. So it's not really that Joe Biden and the Democrats hate guns. They just right. hate law-abiding exactly. Americans exactly. having them, and they take the money from the people to go and have their own little private arsenals. And it's particularly egregious from a country that militarizes its bureaucracies and then forces its grandmothers to go and fend for themselves on dangerous streets because they defund the police and have cashless bail and other hug-a-thug woke criminal justice policies. That's, That's exactly why I'm introducing right. legislation to stop it. Well, God bless you. I mean, Cory Bush has bodyguards with extended magazines. They're not against guns. They're against you having guns. So how could anybody, rhetorical question here, in the U.S. Congress oppose your bill? On what grounds? Well, I'm hoping I'm hoping we get a vote on it because it will show the hypocrisy that is around gun ownership in America. And you just look at the last assault weapons ban that they passed off the floor of the Congress. They had special exemptions for the Department of Education and the Department of Agriculture and the IRS to have guns. So I don't know if the future is like critical race theory and tax payments at the end of end of a rifle, but I certainly hope not. Sounds like it may be. I, I don't know what else to infer from this. Thank you for fighting against it. I very much appreciate that. Matt Gates of Florida. Thank you, Tucker.